be a theme happening here. We're still sitting in the boarding lounge in Paris, Charles de Gaulle waiting to go to Amsterdam and we have a delay so far of two hours due to fog in Amsterdam. So I guess we'll see whether this is going to be take two of the other day with Singapore or whether we will actually get to Amsterdam. We have a I think it's 10 hour 40 layover. We were hoping to get out and see a bit of Amsterdam on the way to Norway but whether that's actually going to happen remains to be seen. 12am and guess, oh no 12pm, 12 noon and guess where we are? Still sitting in the departure lounge at Charles de Gaulle. We have now been delayed until I think boarding is now 2pm from a 9.05 a.m. flight. Um, they've got really bad fog in, that, in Amsterdam and apparently the airport is only accepting 12 flights per hour as opposed to their normal 65. So I'm starting to wonder whether we're actually going to get there anyway. Um, we're only transiting through Amsterdam. We, uh, we supposedly, we started off with a 10 hour 40 layover to be able to go in and explore the city and everything. Um, that's getting shorter and shorter and shorter so I don't know whether we're actually going to be able to go and see anything of Amsterdam or whether we're just going to be spending hours sitting in an airport again. Um, our destination is Bergen in Norway, um, there's no direct flights there so I presume regardless of getting to Bergen I think we're going to have to go through Amsterdam so I will we'll leave it until we find out what's happening with this flight and then figure out what we do from there but we may end up, I hope we don't end up sleeping the night here because it doesn't quite have the same cosy vibe as what Singapore did. So we will update when we find out what's happening. p.m. and we've finally made it to Amsterdam. We were supposed to arrive at 10.30 in the morning. Um, now I guess the question is going to be is I just had the thought we had difficulty getting into Amsterdam because of the weather so I wonder if the flights getting out are now delayed. We were supposed to have a almost 11 hour layover. Um, we're down to five hours now. We need to collect bags because they didn't get put right through to Bergen even though we were on a booking through to Bergen. So we need to collect bags, um, maybe we can check them into the next flight, maybe we do luggage storage, um, then we decide whether we're actually going to leave the airport and go and have a look at Amsterdam or I guess just do a probably a five hour sit in at the airport until we leave again because I'm not quite sure where we are or if we're going to have time to actually go out and see anything. So stay tuned. Where is oh baggage hall this away? So now we go and find our bags. Hey, did you see a lot of other delays? <laughs> no, there was an awful lot that were cancelled though. So we're collecting our baggage on belt number 13, how fitting. I've um, just seen the departure board, it only goes up to 5 past 6 at the moment. There's my heckler again. Only goes up to 5 past 6 at the moment so our flight's not listed but there's an awful lot that are saying cancelled so it remains to be seen whether we're going to be spending another night in an airport or actually getting somewhere. You good there, Lexi? Yeah. I'm filming me, filming you. Oh, yeah. Cool. And the same bags are going round and round and round. So now I'm wondering whether our bags have actually gone all the way through to Bergen, even though when we checked in, we had to put our first destination which was Amsterdam so there doesn't seem to be any more bags on the conveyor belt pretty empty same ones going round and round and round so I guess now we find a information counter and see if our bags have in fact gone to Bergen and then we have to figure out how to get back into departures again oh. Honestly, this is more of an endurance test than a 
trip at the moment but such is life when you travel I guess I mean expect things to happen but um, yeah it's just been one happening after another happening since we left home <laughs> it's just sort of getting a bit tiresome and beyond a joke but it is what it is I guess so we'll go and find out where our bags have ended up I went out to spoken to lovely lady at KLM um, who's doing, there's a huge queue for the baggage but I only had a simple question of where our luggage would end up um, and yes our luggage has indeed gone all the way through to Bergen so we've come out through customs for no reason because um, yeah it was a bit confusing when we checked in we had to put our first destination which was Amsterdam so we figured that we'd have to pick up our bags which we thought was odd but anyway um, so thankfully we're one of few flights that haven't been cancelled because there's another flight, a slightly earlier flight to Bergen that's cancelled. Um, we're still okay, just means that we don't have enough time to leave the airport and actually go and see any of Amsterdam City, which is a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. So now we just go out and straight back into departures for our next airport sit-in and hopefully we get to Bergen tonight. Right, come on peoples. Time to move, chuck a job. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit brisk out here. Oh my gosh, there we go, we've got snow. I don't snow that ice. Beep beep. I don't know what it is, there are so many smokers around Europe, it's disgusting. You get a lung full every time you go somewhere. Beautiful lights. Oh, it's not cold, you was. Cold, it's just nice and brisk. Amsterdam. I guess we're not going to see much, but there we go. We are officially in Amsterdam. Nice and chilly. I want to go inside. <laughs> we'll go inside. I don't want to get snatched. <laughs> you think you're going to get kidnapped? Please go inside. You think you're going to get kidnapped? I'll give you that. It's a pity that's playing Yeah. It is rather brisk out here. See? I don't know if you can see my breath, but I can see it. Lexi's turned around and run, run inside. She's obviously over her fear of being snatched. Sign changes colour. Oh, okay. Adam's discovered that the shopping mall sign changes colour. So now we're going to go back in because, yeah, a little bit brisk. dinner time and I will say I love the European supermarkets they've got amazing stuff we've found again in Amsterdam um, like all the fast food places are like super expensive you're looking at like $30 New Zealand for a combo from Burger King but we've just found the supermarket and they have the most amazing salads fruit salads I'm getting mango hazelnut salad Lexi's getting some fruit salads and there is just Salads and salads and salads, and they're really quite cheap. We've done this for dinner quite a few times, so it ends up being about $10 $15 for dinner instead of about, I think the other night we got Uber Eats and we ended up paying about $120 just for four combos from McDonald's. Uber Eats delivered to the motel, so yeah, these salads are much better value. So, our cheap and easy option for dinner was Albert Heinz Supermarket. Uh, 
um, that's actually in the arrivals hall of the airport but very handy if you're stuck here and wanting cheap meals um, lots of pre-made pre salads fruit salads absolutely everything I really quite like the European supermarkets but on another note um, you're really not going to believe this just got an email um, our flight out of, Ber out of Amsterdam to Bergen has you guessed it not delayed it has been cancelled so we are now stuck in Amsterdam for the night um, so I guess now it's the I looked on um, Expedia looked online the there was no available flights out of here tonight the only available flight that I could find is the one that we were actually offered through KLM which is same time tomorrow night so 9 10 p.m tomorrow night which I guess we get our wish to see more of Amsterdam um, so yeah now I guess I'm gonna have to call the Bergen Motel and cancel our night for tonight find out if we can actually get our luggage off the plane because it's supposedly gone through to Bergen which I don't know whether since that flight's cancelled I don't know whether they automatically offload it and we pick it up from somewhere or I wouldn't imagine it would go to Bergen because if the flight's not going I don't know if our luggage is going so we're going to have to find a KLM counter and find out what happens with that and we need to find somewhere to stay in Amsterdam for the night um, so yeah busy 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 but um, I guess it's never a dull moment traveling with us but um, yeah it'd be nice if it was more of a trip of a lifetime and not so much of an endurance test but it is what it is and I don't know even the kids are laughing I mean it is kind of funny I guess I mean it's just been an absolute disaster from start to finish so yeah I guess we make new plans and carry on yes hello um English please yes hello um we had a booking with your hotel tonight um unfortunately our flight has been cancelled and we're stuck in Amsterdam <laughs> So after an insane amount of phone calls, well probably half a dozen, and a lot of googling online, finally found a motel, um, the Ibis, I think it's about 5k from the airport. Um, we're now going to head back towards arrivals and see if, well what's happening with our luggage, whether we can actually get our bags back or whether they are. Oh, I really don't know whether they're going to be held hostage until they go to Bergen or whether we can get them back or what. Um, so yeah, now we're going back to um, oh yeah, arrivals. Yeah, find a KLM counter and see if we can get any clues as to what's happening. So happy I found an undie shop. Our luggage is in fact held hostage by KLM. Um, we were told that it was gonna the email that we got said it was gonna be offloaded, but apparently the technicality is that since we've booked another flight, we'll confirm that we would take another flight booking, our luggage gets sent out to be put on the plane. So that means that we don't get our luggage until about eleven o'clock tomorrow night when we arrive in Bergen. So that's 48 hours in the same pair of undies. And that ain't happening. So I found a shop with, there was Victoria's Secret, and then there was another lingerie shop that has some pretty scary outfits in there, but I found normal undies. My little pink undie package. So happy, I can deal with sleeping in my clothes, I can deal with anything, I just need my clean undies. So, public service announcement, always pack spare undies in your luggage, which we actually did when we left home, and. We're stranded in Singapore, we had clean undies, but I didn't think this was going to happen twice, but yeah, never underestimate travel.